So let's figure out why this 11-inch MacBook Air is not turning on. We are drawing 7 milliamps. That's no good. Let's check on our peepee -pee bus. Looks like our peepee -pee bus is... 8.5 volts. Somebody said I should do uh, label the stream ASMR and talk like this. Oh, God. Do you think that's a good idea, or do you think that that's just going to attract a bunch of... A bunch of... Yeah. Thank exactly. you, Stanislav. Hi. It's me. <coughs> hey. Paul, could you do an ASMR channel? I don't think so. I think I'm going to do, uh, you know, I think I'm going to try that for the next stream. ASMR, I will put this microphone in the ultrasonic <laughs> and turn it on. That's kind of mean. All right. Let's see what's wrong with this board. All right. We're going to take a look over this board and see if we can find out where there's any corrosion. Let's see if there's any corrosion on this MacBook. First, we gotta get the microscope in focus. Under the CPU looks to be good. RTC area is good. DPS 51980 area is good. Alright. Let's go over to the upper right corner. SMC area looks fine. And here we go. I see some liquid. That is a liquid damage cap. That's a Texas Instruments chip, CD3211. Now the CD3215 is what they use for Thunderbolt Moxie. So most likely, this was an old version of what they used for Thunderbolt Muxing. Let's confirm that by opening up a schematic. It is going to send your 15 volts for Thunderbolt into your 15 volts for Thunderbolt. Thank you, Tony Tingles. You know what I think? Th so I don't get a short circuit on PP3B3S5, but I still feel the need to remove something that looks like that from the board. This sucks, because if it didn't look like that, I'd never know that this is where I should look. See, this is what I say. This is not... This is janitorial work. This is not... require some sort of genius level intellect. This is pure janitor work. I see corrosion. Me remove corrosion. Me beat chest and collect money. Thunderbolt can eat it. Okay. Happy little solder joints. Yeah, beautiful, happy little solder joints. OK. 
Okay, we're going to flow that into place as we put the new capacitor on there, and we'll be just fine. Okay, not only am I going to show you that this bad boy turns on, but we're even if I can find a mini display port to HDMI adapter, I'll even be able to show you that there's output on the screen. Paul, I'll trade you this CD3211 for that HDMI adapter. Fine, you can't have it. You, you can borrow it, you can't have it. Fair trade. You mad man! <laughs> Spit that out! You say I fuck up the plumbing? <laughs> <coughs> I'll pee that out later. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you enjoy the wonderful Christmas music that is heard everywhere. Can I ask why? Beautiful! I'm happy. Not only does it work, it also appears to have Thunderbolt. So it looks like our Thunderbolt MUX was messing with our 3.3 volt rails and keeping the machine from working as it was supposed to. But now it works as it's supposed to. All we had to do is mess with the Thunderbolt circuit. And that is why this channel gets more live viewers than Eli the Computer Guy.